Would it be handy to have a few healthy foods ideas up your sleeve for when the kids just don't fancy it? Well, there have been quite a few ideas actually that have popcorned over the years of having been an auntie, um, having run parents' workshops, um, working with my siblings um, on, on the job, if you like, with kids, <laughs> and also friends with children, and also the research that I did for my book, Delicious Eating Naturally. And so what I've put together are the three top health hacks that I've found that parents and um, caregivers have found um, and aunties and uncles have found to be really handy and really useful when wanting to make sure that kids are getting their fruits and veggies. So the first one is when you're making a smoothie, make sure it's a chocolate flavored smoothie. <laughs> that, that can be very popular with children and check out my website for options on there for smoothies, which it's very easy to make chocolatey. And take a couple of large spinach leaves, make sure they're clean, uh, obviously wash them, and then pop them in the blender. And this will disguise them, the chocolate, strong, strongness of the chocolate will actually disguise them, but start off small and then make sure that your kids are actually happy eating that and they haven't spotted anything before you increase the number of leaves that you pop in. So there's number one. Number two is when you're making up, say, a sauce for a pasta or something like that, it's maybe a, a family favorite or even a soup that you know your kids will eat or the family will eat, then whiz up in the blender a handful of greens, so that might be kale, it might be spinach, it might be silver beet. Just start with something um, as, um, well, what, what you'll find actually is when you've, when you've blended it, it will, it's disguised. <laughs> it's very challenging to spot it. So when you are cooking your sauce or your soup, pop that in and it won't be seen or tasted. It's amazing how easy it is to get that in. But just start again with a small amount until um, nobody's made any comment and obviously you don't need to comment uh, that you've done either of those things, step one or step two. And step three is turn a few pieces of fruit into an amazing scene like a jungle or a tropical scene. And a friend had an amazing time doing this the other day where she would, kids come home from school, they'd be famished and she'd, fruit is an obvious goodie to make sure that we're giving to our kids lots of um, vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals, energy, low GI, ideally would pick up a low GI. And what she did was she sliced a banana and uh, made that into two trunks of uh, um, banana palms or co coconut palms. And then she took an orange and divided it up into the segments which made the branches of the trees and then some grapes which made the coconuts in the trees and then some kiwi fruits that she um, peeled and sliced which made the grass. And she left that out on the side on the cutting board with a few forks. And when the kids came home from school, it was gone. She timed them within about three minutes flat. <laughs> and until then, the kids weren't interested, basically. So if you need some inspiration, then check out my book, the link for my book, um, Delicious Eating Naturally. And take heart, you know, for a client recently, a friend, she found fabulous results with her child who up until that point basically had refused to eat veggies and he ate some for the first time in a long time. And I'd love to hear how you get on.